Hey, yo everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Superboy, issue number four. Take a look at this con cover right here. Now, the theme of this issue for Superboy is freedom. See, the issue starts off with him having a little encounter with Professor Fairchild, or Dr. Fairchild, which is apparently from Gen 13, but I never read it, so I don't know anything about her, other than the fact that she can become re ridiculously jacked really quickly. Don't know if she could do that before in the other comic series. I'll have to research it later. Anyway, Superboy has a little encounter with her, but after this encounter is resolved, one way or another, he is allowed to go about the world and do what he wants, and the offer is given to him to return to nowhere if he so chooses. So what does Superboy do? He goes along his way, but not before finding out a little bit about himself. Apparently, Superboy was a project that was created by separate different groups of nowhere, and those groups do not know where, <laughs> no pun intended, don't know where the information from the other groups came from. So, while one group has information about Superboy on one level, they don't have the information from the other groups. So, they know that there is a Kryptonian donor, but they don't know the, who the human donor is. Which, I'm pretty sure is going to be Lex Luthor again, but you never know. It could be like, you know, Carrot Top or Daniel Tosh. You never know. Anyways, so Superboy goes about it and he has his freedom, and... He kind of walks around, and apparently all the comics this month is in Christmas time, which, I mean, makes sense, it is December. Um, he kind of flies around, and he thinks about his place in the world, and he's, he's feels so caught, uh, uh, so, he feels so conflicted, because he's annoyed at people that have the freedom that he wants, and he sees everything as just a shamble. People are caroling and talking about hope and love, where the world is at war and people are in poverty. He doesn't understand the human race, he under doesn't understand the human mind. And then he comes across a person falling out of a building. He feels compelled to save this person, and he finds out there is the two teenagers, I assume they're teenagers, from the previous issues that have superpowers that go around and kill people. So is Superboy against these uh, superpowered metahumans? Will Superboy be able to truly put his powers to the test, or will unfortunately he be overwhelmed by what really is out in the world? You're just going to have to read and see. So let's get into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. You know what I like about this series? I like when Scott Laudel actually does the inner dialogue for Superboy, and Superboy is trying to get an awareness of his surroundings. I particularly like how he's contemplating on how the world is in his own reflections, and his position in the world, especially the conclusion he comes to at the end. Superboy seems to be the happiest when he's fighting, so he comes to the conclusion that he needs challenges in his life. Interesting. So, I, I, I kind of like the inner dialogue for Superboy. Uh, the art is good, as it was beforehand, and this Fairchild woman, um, I'm interested to see more about her, although I don't know if we're going to get that right away. Uh, the action is pretty good. I like how Superboy uses his brain, no pun intended, when it comes down to the technology, uh, the, tele, uh, the tactical telekinesis, so I like that. Um, and just all in the whole, it had a pretty good feel to it. Uh, bad. Well, the first bad is that I don't really like the aesthetic look of Nowhere. I think its operatives look silly. There's one guy that comes in, and his costume is like a bright gold with a bunch of mechanical pieces, technology all over it. And then one eye is covered. Why is one eye covered? It makes no sense at all. Uh, but really, other than that, it was a pretty solid issue, uh, which leads into, uh, future stuff with the Titans. Hint, 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 hint. Uh, you know, the thing is, is, uh, whether or not you should get it. The thing is, is that Superboy has been kind of an up-and-down series. It started off really good, then it kind of dipped, then it came back, and they dipped, and now it's coming back again. Um, and I really don't know how to feel about Scott Liddell as a writer. Uh, he does good in one title, then he does bad in another, and then he good, does good in another title, and then does bad in another. It really is kind of like a roller coaster. But on a whole, issue number four was a really fun issue. I enjoyed it. There, I mean, the fighting was really more there just to serve as a plot purpose rather than just to have a fight. But it, for the most part, it was good, and I just enjoyed the stuff with Superboy's trying to find himself. I wouldn't mind an issue with him just 
walking around contemplating the world. I know that sounds boring, but I would have fun with that. So, issue number four of Superboy, pretty good. Pick it up if you've been enjoying the series so far, or just pick it up and enjoy it uh, in general. It is an enjoyable book. That's how I'm going to end this review here. Xander is saying, peace out for now.